This video is a step-by-step -step process on how to create macros in the new Razor Synapse. A macro is a sequence of mouse actions or key presses you record and play back to have the sequence of actions repeated. Before we begin, make sure to plug in a Razor device that is supported by the new Razor Synapse. Open the new Razor Synapse and select Macro. Click on New Macro. By default, macro profiles will be named Macro 1, Macro 2, and so on. You can rename your macro. To do this, click on the three dots icon next to the chosen macro and select Rename. Type in your preferred name and press Enter to save. Select a macro to start adding input sequences. You can add input sequences in two ways, record and add. Record records your keystrokes or mouse actions which will be added to the macro. Add manually inserts keystrokes, mouse functions, and other functionalities to the macro. Press the drop-down arrow next to record to set the delay settings and edit the options on how the mouse movement is tracked. Click on record, then perform the actions you want to record, including delays between actions. Click stop after you finish recording your macro. Your macro is automatically saved. You can then assign it to your Razer device that is compatible with the new Razer Synapse. Add on the left-hand portion, you can see the different functions you can drag and drop to your macro sequence. Delay introduces pauses between the current and next action. Keyboard function adds key presses and text inputs. Mouse function adds mouse clicks and scroll functions. You can also add an existing macro, a program, or a website, a command line, texts, and loops. You can edit your macro sequence by adding action through drag and drop, editing or removing unwanted actions, reordering the sequence, and adding or adjusting delays. Press the Save button once you are finished creating your macro. Then, assign it to a product that is compatible with the new Razer Synapse. There you have it. You have successfully created macros in the new Razer Synapse. See the link in the description to learn more about creating macros.